What's up guys, it's Kyle here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some zooms in After Effects. Just something very simple, it's not hard at all. I'd say this is for some moderate After Effects users maybe. Um, nothing really uh, terribly hard, but if you're just getting into After Effects, this might be a little tough for you to do because you got to really realize and look at this layout and uh, know where all the buttons are but with that being said let's just hop straight into the tutorial you will need sapphire for this so make sure you have sapphire installed um go ahead and open up your after effects and load up a new project whatever you work on i want to name this test for this kind of thing and i'm going to use 1350 but you can use really whatever you want to use i sometimes use 1450 From here you want to import your scene pack since i'm not making a uh, full edit i'm just gonna import something like this that i made a while ago and you're just gonna put it in i'm gonna turn the volume off just to keep everything nice and uh what you want to do is you want to well first of all you want to make everything up to size so scale it up to whatever you're gonna do here Right, let me turn this to quarter just for the video sake and let's find ourselves a nice clip shall we and I'm gonna I usually use this one for most of my transitions or whatever let's just cut this or we might have to all right yeah right here let's go back a few frames all right now this and we'll cut it here all right let's get rid of this keep it out of the way so this is our clip right here now quick tip if you want to make uh see how it's heads a little bit over here if you want to make this completely straight uh click on there right here your clip stabilize the motion and just drag it to the nose and play it and it's free head tracking it is quite literally free head tracking and then you just move this adjust it a little bit all right so now that we have the clip set up you want to enable frame blending and smooth mode in a uh, motion blur to keep everything you know good which you double you enable frame blending by double clicking this and motion blur by clicking this so now that we have our clip we're gonna go ahead and uh, pre-compose it now that you've pre-composed your clip, you want to go up here to the top right where it says effects and presets and look up blur, mo, and it should just be right here, blue my bell mo, crap, blur mo curves and drag it to the beginning of your clip. Now on the left side of your screen, you'll see uh, your controls, right? everything at the center. Wrap Y, where is these two right here, where my mouse is at. Make your wrap X, reflect, wrap Y, reflect. What this does is if we were going to zoom this out, it reflects everything. So that way nothing, because if you have this off or set the tile, it'll just be black. And with reflect, it'll reflect as if you, you wouldn't even notice it. Like you don't even, you wouldn't notice in an edit this bottom of the screen where it's reflecting. That being said, what you're gonna want to do is press E. Click on the clip, obviously your pre-composed clip. Press U or turn this on and then press U. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, top left, right next to the Z distance. There's a little clock, a little timer. Click that, and it'll open up. It'll enable uh, keyframing, and then then you press U on your keyboard to open this. Now this first one, you can keep to one but I would go to one point like zero four. So let's do that. 1.04. And at the end of the clip or the last frame, the last frame for the end, click this little button right here. It should be like a little diamond and make that 0.9. Now this is what your clip will uh, look like. That's how it'll look like. 
but some people don't want it to look like that some people want it to be a uh, fast and if you're fine with it just slowly zooming in like that that's good but uh if you're gonna make it look nicer and a lot smoother um enable motion blur again on the pre-composed clip and now it looks a little bit better and what you want to do to make it look a lot 10 times smoother i mean better you're gonna highlight both of these keyframes press f9 and open up the graph editor on your after effects now this is something that not a lot of people told me whenever i first started playing after effects or using after effects i had problems with my graph editor i didn't know how to use it basically make sure you pressed f9 all right you have to press f9 on, on both of these you have to hover and press f9 then you click this and this little button right here where my mouse is at click that and now you should have a good graph looking um drag this one right here towards the middle like that and this one right here towards the other middle on the other side it should be pretty straight through and now your video would look like that and now we're going to go back or where I was at with the graph editor where's my graph sorry I'm tripping where's my graph at there it is yeah and you just tweak with this a little I keep it at this usually since this clip is kind of long it'll look a little funky but um yeah that's pretty much the basics of it if you want it to look a little smoother in a different way have this one just set low and it'll just come in real fast like that and you can do that for all clips it'll just come in real fast and yeah a cool trick i'd like to say is most people they give up because they feel like oh i have to do this on every single clip um this part up here you have to do on every clip but this bottom part right here you don't you simply just have to copy both keyframes and you can just paste them on another clip after you've done this just turn this back you're gonna put blur mode curves into something and you're just gonna turn reflect reflect make sure the keyframes on and you'll just paste it um yeah if you want to make it look a little um smoother make cover up something at the start i'll just show you how to make a white flash while you're at it um solid uh, anything really it doesn't matter as long as it covers the whole screen and just control D or control shift D go one keyframe over I mean not keyframe just frame over control D again get rid of that and now you have a flash and uh, yeah that's pretty much how you do it uh, hope this helps some of you guys who needed help learning how to do a zoom and I'll be making more tutorials in the future. I'll see you guys.